I said in a previous video that Miraculous struggles between wanting a more serialized story and keeping it more episodic. I think Soul Crusher is a good example of that. We open with Zoe Lee getting a guided tour of Paris before she stops in front of a bakery. You see, this is where we run into our first problem, the placement of the episode. If this was season one or two, I could accept this episode screams, hey, look, new character. But the problem with serialization and putting in a new character this late in the game is that we don't have a shortage of characters. Miss Bustier's class already has enough of a presence in the series so far. Unless we want to go the Star Wars for Clone Wars route of just rotating the massive cast, we already have a problem with everyone getting focus. And now we're adding another one? Anyways, Marinette clusses her way into the scene, and Marinette and Zoe hit it off quite well, Marinette inviting Zoe into the friend group quite quickly. It's the small moments like these that I do like Marinette's character, even if she ends up smooth-braining her way through the series. We learn that Chloe and Zoe are sisters. Half-sisters, to be precise. Same mom, different dads. Okay, this is where I need to say, uh, what? Okay, same mom, different dads. So Chloe is the older sibling, and Zoe is presumably a year or two younger. Did Audrey have an affair right after having Chloe? Because it feels a lot like that. It's perfectly in character to have her do that, but I'm surprised that she just didn't dump Zoe in like some kind of orphanage, despite Zoe saying she was raised by her American father. Yeah, we get it. Audrey's a terrible mom. Moving on. We're introduced to the most controversial aspect of this episode, the angel-devil-sibling dichotomy. Chloe is the devil who treats everyone like tools and advises Zoe to do the same. Meanwhile, Zoe is the nice sibling who is just forced into evil. Look, this dynamic could work, but given that Astruc has repeatedly demonstrated that Chloe is supposed to be nothing more than evil and petty, this does nothing to benefit Zoe, who is supposed to be the opposite of Chloe and thus good for goodness sake. When you already have so many characters who are just goody-goody nice people, then the angel-devil dynamic doesn't work. It just makes Zoe come off as eternally tied to Chloe and just insipid as a character. Zoe is what amounts to a character of the day from Pokemon. But let's get back to the actual plot. After some antics at the school where Zoe tries to imitate Chloe, we have some truly nice moments between Andre and Zoe. Andre revealing he wanted to be a famous movie director and not a politician, but he was forced into it. Likewise, Zoe wanted to do anything but appease people, but she spent her entire life just appeasing people. Okay, some people take issue with Andre telling her to lock away any hopes of her being in control of her own destiny into some compartment on the roof. But Andre locked his own hopes and dreams in there as well, so at least he's being consistent. One Akuma later, we get Zoe becoming Soul Crusher. As the name implies, she makes people disappear with a kick, and she also grows in size the more people she absorbs. Oh, and the point of her rampage against Chloe is to show off how Chloe is an evil person, even feeding Marinette's parents to Soul Crusher. Look, I know I barely watch the show, but even I find this to be excessive evil on Chloe's end. Like, I know she's protected herself at the expense of others before, but here she just wants to seemingly hurt people in this episode. She even tries to convince her sister to attack the barge where her classmates are on instead of her because Chloe has to be a horrible person. You guys know the drill. Break the object. Zoe makes up with the others and makes friends. Zoe stays in Paris. The end. My thoughts on this episode are quite mixed. If this was season 1 or 2, then this would be an ordinary introductory episode for a new character. However, this isn't season 1 or 2. We have enough characters that require focus and development as is. We don't need another character introduced in season 4, when we already have enough underdeveloped characters sitting around. Then there's the problem of Zoe. I find her a nice mix of Adrian and Chloe's character traits and backstory in a vacuum. However, the problem is in her dynamic with Chloe. The show sets her up and essentially defines her from this episode forward as the anti-Chloe. If you define a character solely in opposition to another character, then you really don't have a character. Remember, even the most apathetic theologian will need to say, I believe, because you cannot argue that you are right solely by the fact that your opponent is wrong. Okay, what if the other person is 100% wrong, but doesn't default to your position being 100% right and infallible? But those are my thoughts on the matter. 
Let me know if you enjoyed them. Please consider liking, subscribing, and tipping the channel on Kofi. This is Cyril signing off.